sure this is glass and glass got broken right if you hit glass then you broke small later but in this way it's stronger on the corners because there's no corners actually you just got like the rounded part so that's why we put in that we put in the front and in the back and also when we look for the metal frame we have metal frame in the middle and then we have the glass and glass so this, this is a very elegant, very cool design. Also feels really good on the hands, you know. Another thing that's quite important is the design and the way you look at it. So you're gonna see this in this kind of circles on the back of all the Zenfone 3. It's quite beautiful. Also in the front, we put it like in the bottom and also in the top. You know. So the next one we're gonna bring today is Zenfone 3 Deluxe. I think all of you are waiting for that. This is the new monster, right? It's coming out of the jail, finally. Right, so this one, uh, if you look like to the sport cars, very high-end cars, this is the kind of product we inspire on that to create this product, the design of this product. So when you look at it, you can see some similarity on that, right? And yes, this is the first form of the metal winning body and invisible antennas. You know, like those lines on the you know, fruit company. <laughs> Apple, come on. <laughs> they have those lines in the back, right? Those lines, not because they're designed or because they think this is beautiful. Those lines because they didn't find a way to isolate the metal to create antennas. So we find this way, even before them now. And for sure, pure beauty. You know, like, even in the back and in the front, we have this kind of designs in the concentric circles that shows that this is our signature. Yeah, proof company. And Apple, come on. Um, the Z 3 Deluxe, when you compare to iPhone 6 Those Plus. Lines, not because they're designed, but because they think it's beautiful. And when you compare, you can see how thin it is. If you put in your hands, both together, you're going to feel more comfortable with this as well. It's done on a CNC machine. It's so hard to make this kind of products full of metal to be perfect. And in the way it's going, you know, you can see how, how hard it is to have like all those steps to finish the metal. It's quite hard to make it. Also goes for camera, right? This is important. And for Ida, we know it's very, very important. Everybody likes to have a good camera on the phones. They use it the primary camera today. You picture your friends, your family. So for that, we put a lot of efforts to make it more faster, lifelike, and steady. I think those are the three points we are looking for for the camera on the smartphone. Camera, right? And fast means the focus should be fast, and also when you take pictures, it should be fast for the next one. Right? We don't want to miss a moment. We want to have all of them in the time you need. Steady means that we're going to put optical stabilization on the phone, but also electronic stabilization. They work together. So this assures that not only pictures, but also video will look marvelous. The other thing is, all the other small things for some people, but think, big things for people like us that understand technology and data, that it's important. We're going to go over each of them. So when we look for the Zenfone 3 camera, this Zenfone 3 camera is a 16 megapixel camera. It's a Sony sensor, highest quality possible today in the market. Six element lens and the aperture is true dot all, which will guarantee you good pictures even dark conditions. And we add here the protection for the lens are sapphire. Few companies do that. Why? Because we want to make sure you never got scratch over there. So then your pictures will be clear. Always. The same thing we are doing for the Zenfone 3 Deluxe. We also put Sapphire, but Zenfone 3 Deluxe sports a different kind of camera. It's a 23 megapixel camera. And this 23 megapixel camera can take you up with super resolution to 92 megapixel quality. 92 megapixel quality images. Can you imagine that? How much detail you can put in a picture? It's incredible. It's the first one to bring also the Snapdragon 821. It's the fastest processor in the market. This will be the monster of all smartphones. Moving on. Remember, Sapphire Glass. That's how you put it. You want to make it really resistant. 
And also, we don't need to worry. Oh, my camera lens also blurry. So we solve this problem. The front camera also is important, right? Selfies. And remember, selfies in the beginning only for teenagers, women teenagers, but then this goes so fast. And now selfies is important to everyone, right? And we put a lot of importance in that as well. We have an 8 megapixel camera for Zenfone 3 as a front camera with wide, an wide angle, 84 degrees of angle. You can put all your friends together just using your hands, you know, we don't need the self stick stuff, which is totally ideal. Come on. And we look for the camera. We also put like the three, what we call the three tech technology, something we develop. We put together three different kinds of way to focus, right? So we have the continuous wall autofocus, something is moving, so keep focusing. We have the laser autofocus, which is the second generation. What that means, it gets it it can get you further. The first generation got something around 50 centimeters from the camera, from the product. The second generation can go up to 1.3, a meter and 30 centimeters. So it's, it's even longer, it's even further. So then it will be faster to focus. And now so we are putting the PDAF. So when you combine those together for different situations, you can have a perfect picture. <clears throat> so from the light to the lens, to the micro lens, to the shield, to the shot diode, we put it all together to create the advanced phase detection. And then the laser come in. And then we put together the continuous autofocus because those technologies, they work together to assure you can have the subject always on, on the screen with the right focus. This is an example. You see the train coming, right? Over there, without continuous autofocus, over here, with continuous autofocus. I'm going to play again. I'm going to go back. I'm going to play again so you can pay attention. You see it? This is what we're talking about. You never lose focus of the subject, even if it's moving. Right? So, outdoors or indoors, doesn't matter. The laser will help you on indoors conditions, closer conditions for picture. When you are outdoors, laser will not work because things are too far away, right? So then the, the phase detection will work really well. That's why we say we have different technologies working together, no matter which condition you are for the picture, to make it the focus really faster. And also the stabilization, right? We shake a lot, no matter which age. We just notice that when you start to use phones to record, right? For sure. And getting older like me, you start to shake more, definitely. But, you know, the shaking thing is something that we have to fix on picture and movies as well. So we put this kind of technology, which is the physical stabilization. They call it OIS, optical stabilization, image stabilization, right? And the sense in different directions. So from the picture, we have this six axes with eight directions, because you can sum up all directions possible for that. So it will compensate. So we can see here, this is a very interesting task. We have iPhone 6 here, the 6S Plus, and over there we have the Zenfone 3 in the same machine. Actually, after here, we're going to show this in Rio. We're going to see this in Rio, and you can tweak and change things if you want, just to check how different it will be, and how Zenfone 3 can keep the image steady, and someone like the fruit company cannot. This is the end result when you put that technology together. You can have this kind of video. It's amazing, isn't it? Looks like professional stuff. So the electronic key stabilization image, uh, the image stabilization, <coughs> sorry, uh, it's more for the videos, right? Because videos also have to compensate in different ways. So it also works for that. So we work together with the optical and electronic. So we assure the videos will be perfect. Right. And also, I think for this phone, in the category this phone is going in, will be one of the first, if not the only one, to enable people to have 4K recording. For the price band will be for the kind of phone we are delivering. 
And this is important for a lot of people. Even if you don't have a 4K TV now, you are recording your kids, right? When they get older, they're going to have 4K, 4K, 8K TV. And then your contents will be 720 to show them how they are when they are kids. No, we can start recording right now with Zenfone 3 at 4K. And one of the most important things on, about the image quality is on the sensor, right? We know cameras a lot of things, also software, but the sensor also is important. So the sensor, the Sony S sensor, they use this kind of technology with the, the deep trench isolation. Image is separate inside. So this is an example. There's like walls here that will make sure that the light will go for that pixel only and not invade the other pixel not create any kind of blur. So the light condition, the color condition, the precision and definition of the image will be quite, quite high. Uh, when you try the super resolution, this is a macro photo with super resolution, this is the kind of details you can get for that view. For Zenfone 3, the super resolution can go up to 64, and Zenfone 3 Deluxe 92 megapixels, which is amazing. You know, you're going to notice on our Zenfone 3, Zenfone 3 Deluxe, Zenfone 3 Ultra, another dot over the LED flash. There's another small dot over there. That dot, it's a sensor to measure the white balance of surrounding. So that will make sure that the colors you are picturing will be the same when you bring it to your computer, will be the same when you bring it to your other media. So then you can have um, the most accurate color from the moment to take the picture. I think you only can find that on iPad Pro today. Only iPad Pro has the sensor. No one else has the sensor. And real-time HDR mode. We also can do video with HDR, which is fantastic and improve a lot of the quality. And for sure, when you go for the dark mode, you can take pictures on the dark. The quality will reduce, but you are sure you can see the picture. And time lapse city photography. We also can do, uh, you can picture the stars if you want it, with up to 32 seconds long exposure. When, what is Pixel Master for us? And what it means Pixel Master 2.0? Actually, Pixel Master is a set of specs that together assure an incredible quality for everyone. So, this is the thing. This is all about everything I said, it's here. This is Pixel Master. All together makes Pixel Master. So I would like to introduce here our friend from Poco, Sakin. It's your turn to talk, right? You should have a microphone. You have a microphone here? I'm the audible probably. Am I okay? Can you hear me? Okay, you have a microphone here, please. Thanks. <coughs> Uh, let me take this opportunity to thank uh, and congratulate uh, yourself and your team on the launch of Zen 4 3, which is the first smartphone to be powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 processor. This processor <coughs> comes from our 600 series of uh, uh, Snapdragon chipsets, and which are known for enabling a combination of advanced features, robust connectivity, all day battery life, as well as a host of other features that some of those you already seen that Marcel talked about. The other thing here is, uh, this is also the first processor in the 600 family which is uh, getting four, 14 nanometer thin fed uh, LLP technology, uh, LPP technology. Uh, we'll talk about this technology uh, shortly. And this is an octa-core processor. Each of the cores are powered at 2 gigahertz. So very, very powerful processor. And you can see some of the features which are get, getting powered uh, by this processor. Can we go to the next one? So on the, uh, I'll just spend a couple uh, of seconds on the 14 nanometer thin thread. This was the same technology which was used in our flagship 820 and 821 CPU processors. We are using it in 625 uh, Snapdragon as well. Uh, mainly because it provides two distinct advantages. One advantage is in terms of the increased performance, at the same time reduced power consumption. So you can see that 50% increase in performance, at the same time 
keeping power lower by 35% when you compare to its predecessor, which is Snapdragon 670. So that's a huge leap within the same tier. And uh, using this... I think the experience should be improved for all of them. Absolutely, absolutely. Right? Especially the battery and performance. You are gaining performance oh, and absolutely. gaining battery as well. And as a result, you can see that within this tier, you will see 4K video playback and recording, etc. Basically, so it's going to be a fantastic phone, and I wish you all the success. With the oh, phone. thank you very much. I like this kind of interaction with events. Okay, moving on. We have more things to show. Check this. I think you know those products, right? This is Zenfone 3, I guess. Then. And also, because this processor comes with a new technology, it also sports a new Adrenal, a new graphic card, which can take you to more technologies and more entertainment. For instance, when we compare also the other ones for 3 d Mark and GDPS, GFX Bench for the whole, you can see what happens. You know, it's a dual SIM. Yes, 4G and 3G, and it has all the kind of connectivity you can expect for a 4G device. And more than that, when you go for full speed performance, right, all together, can you imagine all those packs in a phone? Now available in the Check this, this is the Lux, the monster. Check this. This is 821 working but also optimization of memory and storage. Six gig RAM on this product. Dual channel LP DDR4. This sounds like, you know, sweet music to my ears. And I bet for you guys also. When you compare also the memory technology we have, how they transfer, right? How the 4 gig RAM or 6 gig RAM works. Because sometimes you have products with 2 gig RAM and you compare them and some are much faster than the others. Why that happen? Well, they change four parts for that. And we choose the best parts for that. And that's why we have a better situation when it comes to comparisons. And also we can optimize the software because we have a lot of people today. Actually, today in Asus, we have more people working on software than hardware. Believe it or not, on R&D. It's funny to hear that, right? We have more people in software today inside Asus than hardware on R&D. Check this. Insane numbers, right? Google Docs, come on. Two hundred fifty-six gigabyte run, eight times faster than the flagship with UFS 2.0, which is 2.5 flagship, and now so all of them with USB Type-C. Delux supports also Quick Charge 3.0, which is super fast Quick Charge. And the fingerprint, who don't have fingerprint for now one is out of the market. We know that. This is something that consumers want, right? So that's why we put it. You can get like five fingers and it's 360 recognition. It's recorded like here, but you can use it any place if we recognize that's you or not. When you put it all together, you see like the battery. You see this kind of battery, 2,150 from this guy here, the Formula One guy. And then we have here 3,000 for us, and then we have here Samsung, right, the A series with 3,300. And you may say, this is the best battery, right? But also, you have to optimize your whole system. It's not only the memory, it's not only the battery, it's everything. And those are the final results when you have the best set of software, hardware, and all the hardware parts inside the product. But I think there's another way to show that. That's Pokemon Go running for more than two hours in both devices. This is the Rabbit phone, you know from who? The Note 3 from the Rabbit company, Xiaomi, the new me. And here we have Zenfone 3, but it's the 5.2 screen Zenfone 3, which has 2,680 MHA, 
5.5 inches has 3,000. How's possible a phone with 2,680 mha can long last can, can last longer than no three four thousand? How's that possible? You can check this. You can take a picture and check the the code here. I I, I wasn't the one that did that. It was another guy, another reviewer from another country. How's possible? Thirty minutes more with less battery. This optimization. Coming to the sound, I think sound is also very important, but not only the sound from the speakers, sound also for the headphones, right? And for the calls. I know people are talking less and less nowadays, but still very important. So we put together a lot of things, you know, new speakers, new amplification. Now the phone supports the high resolution audio. So you can listen to high resolution audio if you want it. And voice over LTE and all the noise, noise cancellation and noise reduction enhancements you can have. So this is the new speaker that's going to be inside the product. It's five magnet speaker. I know it sounds like too nerd or geeky when you talk about that. But this is important. This is very expensive, actually. When we check the high resolution audio, we see what's the difference. So to achieve that, it's not easy. It's not only the hardware you put, but also the kind of software and codex you put it inside and how you optimize them to your product. And then we achieve more than four times better than a CD quality, which is lost less. Also, the ZenY is new. It's a new ZenY. Simpler. And finally, we give up of the bloatware. <laughs> right? So, less one item to complain. You can applause. I will accept that. Okay, you can stop now, thank you. No, but actually, uh, that was a hot discussion inside ASUS for a long time. You should remove that, you know, everybody's asking for that. And we removed the bloater. And also a lot of other apps we remove as well, and we keep the original Google apps for that. So the Zen Y is still there, because there's a lot of things about a user interface that people cares about. The way they put the curtain down, the Zen Y you can put from the middle of the screen, so make it easier for everyone, especially for phones with bigger screens. So these kind of things, small things that help people to use the product better, we keep over that, the usage experience. But software experience in terms of third party, we select the ones that make a lot of sense, like an antivirus is still important for a lot of people and they don't know where to get it. So these kind of things are still there, right? But all the crap where we had in the past, this is gone. You're gonna check by your own. It's so nice to have this kind of animation, right? Not only the parallax for the wallpaper, but also when you are in the lock screen, you can see if it's raining outside, it will be raining in your lock screen. If the weather is sunny, it will be sunny in your front screen, no matter which, which wallpaper you put it. So this kind of overlay effect <coughs> helps you and make more beautiful and make more easy to understand what is happening in the weather outside. This is kind of nice. And Game Gene, you know, Game Gene, I don't know if you know about this. You haven't heard about that? Okay, imagine Pokemon Go or imagine Hearthstone. Probably know Hearthstone from Blizzard, right? The card game. A lot of people, what they do on the YouTube? They do the streaming, right? How they do that from a smartphone? Well, you can do that with Game Gene. And, you know, you can stream directly from your phone playing the game to YouTube and Twitch. You also can optimize the phone. It's quite nice. I can show you. I have the phone here set up, and I can show you how it works. Also, if you use our smart covers, you can do this smart design. You see, this smart design is quite nice. Now we redesign everything. The colors match. You can access instant messaging straight from this smart window. Even for WhatsApp, Line, Facebook, whatever messages you've got it you can check right away without opening the product. It also helps you to save battery. And for all of you, at this point, we still have a lot of things. I think, uh, Gallup? Yes. Gallup? I think this is not the last slide, right? We're going to start the, the notebooks now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so now, now thanks for watching now.
Not Q&A now. We should jump to the notebook, right? OK, to jump into the notebook, uh, I'm going to call uh, Fred. So Fred? Hi, folks. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Fred. I'm the product manager of the New Zealand Book 3. And I'm really happy to be here to reveal some detailed tech knowledge uh, about our New Zealand Book 3. Okay, so first of all, I want to start from talking about beauty. Uh, does anyone know what the Zen means? Zen is uh, a, a Chinese word, and it means the perfect combination between simplicity and the power. Kind of, uh, you, you see the Star Wars, may the force be with you, something like that. It's the simplicity combined with the power, or the soft uh, combined with the strong. Okay, so this kind of Zen spirit is our DNA when we design the Zen book. Uh, so you can see the new Zen book three is so it's ultra thin. It's only 11.9 millimeters, and it's almost 30 percent thinner than the MacBook Air. It's almost 10 percent thinner than the new MacBook. And you can see it's also ultra light, only. 910 gram, so it's 30% lighter than the MacBook Air. And it also has the A4 compact size, so you can easily carry on with you to everywhere. Uh, so how to make this happen? This time we use the unibody metal design, and which is cutting by the CNC machine. It's a really uh, precisely cutting process. Okay. And there are so much complicated uh, steps to process to make it happen. Also, this time we are using a very, very uh, uh, innovation material, which is the aerospace grade aluminum alloy. You can see it's almost 50% stronger than the industry level. So make it very small and stronger. So you can see we can, by, the, by this kind of design, we also have the world's smallest laptop hinge. It's only three millimeters thickness. In this kind of design, we also make the uh, very slim bezel. You can see the perfect body to screen ratio is almost 82%, while our major competitor is far away from us. So talking about the performance, ASUS will never say compromise to the performance. So such in such a small laptop, this time we used the uh, Intel latest uh, generation, KB Lite Core 7 CPU. And for the system storage, it can up to one terabyte PCIe by four SSD, which is almost four times faster than the than the traditional SATA three SSD. And for the system memory, up to the sixteen gigabytes with DDR4 to one two three megahertz, which is the fastest uh, system memory so far in the world. But with our really really cooling thermal system, it can achieve the goal. So this time we have a brand new cooling system. As you can see. Uh, the thermal module is only three millimeters for thickness, so it's very, very thin. And we also put a new, uh, new material, which is the liquid crystal polymer fan impeller, which can make the fan <coughs> impeller very, very small, but very, very powerful for the cooling e uh, efficiency. And we also have the brand new Cooper alloy heat pipe co uh, covered by the ceramic uh, bearings. So hold the <laughs> Total thermal module is, uh, is about making the cooling efficiency. And you can see the, 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 the uh, airflow chart is sucking the air from both sides of the machine and just balance tight from the rear side. So by using this very good cooling system, we can achieve the very good uh, performance. So you can see we are almost 50% damn effort for the system performance. And we are almost, uh, for the SSD, we are almost two times faster. For the system memory, it's about 50% faster than the MacBook. So for the performance, it's really good. And some of them say, hey, the sound experience is the last month when you are doing a, a very, very good product. So this time, uh, we, we cooperate with the Harman Kardon, which is the famous uh, stereo brand in the world. 
and we also use four channel, five magnet speakers. Here, as you see, you can see there are two rear speakers which are in charge of the uh, full tone range speak uh, tones. So we can have a really powerful bass and uh, very solid uh, uh, middle tone frequency. And for the front side, the two speakers is same technology, just like Marcel mentioned that it's the five magnet speakers. So you can have very powerful, uh, you can see you can, the loud is very loud, and uh, the high frequency will be very clear. And last but, but not least is, uh, because this is a notebook, although it's very thin, it's very light and very small, but we also keep the productivity. So you can see we have a brand new keyboard uh, travel distance. It's almost uh, two times two time longer than the MacBook. We have 0 0.8 millimeters, and it passed the 10 million times keystroke lifespan. So it keeps you the uh, you can use the keyboard very very well in every situation. And also have the keyboard band light. So you can see we are thinner and lighter than the MacBook, but we also have uh, so much thing it doesn't have. So uh, here. Uh, I want you, you to uh, have a demo, later on there will be a demo zone so you can just feel it and touch it and just see how, how, how do you like it. And next time we will uh, invite Edward, he's our, uh, another product manager. Uh, he will introduce the uh, Transformer 3 for you. Thank you. Okay, thanks for, uh, for the excellent demonstration uh, introduction. Uh, I'm Pian Edward. So I'm the product manager of the Transformer 3 Pro. The Transformer 3 Pro, the world's most versatile PC, is combined the powerful, the convenient, expandable in a thin and light machine. The Transformer 3 Pro, the Z height is only 8.35 millimeters, with the uh, gram that is under 800 gram. It's a lightweight, which could put in the Core i7 CPU. Okay, not only with the Core i7 CPU, also we have the 16 key memory and up to the one terabyte PCI SSD and also support the latest feature, the Thunderbolt 3. You may want to ask why we can put this so powerful processor in a thin and light laptop. The key is the heat pipe. Okay, we always keep the powerful systems in cool. As you know, uh, in so thin and light machine, to keep the processor such as the Core i7 CPU to keep it cool is a very tough challenge. This picture shows the traditional heat pipes that they only dissipate the heat in one way. So it's inefficient and will decrease your performance. However, the Transformer 3 Pro used the revolutionary, the vapor chamber cooling system, which also the NASA is used to cool the fuel. Uh, cell in the space. So use these vapor chamber cooling systems that could uh, pop up the heat by all direction. It could increase your efficiency and also increase the performance and reliability. So not only for the device performance, we also want to show you an amazing user experience. It's the sounds. You may want to ask the Transformer 3 Pro why we focus on the sounds. Transformer 3 Pro is not only Okay, it's not only to focus on the working life, but also we will just try to satisfy the entertainment you need. Co-work with the Harman Garden, okay, the audio experts. The Transformer 3 delivered the powerful, clear, and rich immersive sounds. Uh, this chart shows Compared with our main competitor, the Surface Pro 4, the Transformer 3 Pro is four times louder than the, trans uh, than the Surface Pro 4. It's amazing, right? So, not only for the perfect performance and amazing uh, user experience, uh, the product is still not perfect. Why? Why we say the Transformer 3 Pro is the world's most versatile PC? In the past industry, they only focus on the device, focus on the device only. It's just like you go to a high-level restaurant and they only give you a main course without appetizer, soup, or dessert. Ladies and gentlemen, the Transformer 3 Pro, it provides the full accessory that could 
have you have the fully solution of the accessory. The first one is the universal dock, which could focus on the connectivity. The second is the XG station two, which could enhance your performance. The third one is the audio pod, which could uh, fulfill your entertainment need. And the last one is the Asus pen, which could let you catch every scene in every moment. So the universal dock, as you know, we put all the audio port in here. Okay, so you just think a scenario that you put this universal dock at your office or at your home, and you plug in all the device on this docking. And when you come back to home or office, and you just plug in the Type C cable and connect with your T03 Pro, the Transformer 3 Pro, and all the device will work here. And when you want to go out, it's very easy and simple. You just take out the Type C cable and you can bring out all uh, your device and just leave this device connect with your universal docking. The second is the XG Station 2. In the past, you can image that the laptop could play like such as the 4K game or the VR. But by this uh, XG Station 2, you could play uh, like the 4K game and VR because we combine with the NVIDIA latest graphic card, the 10 series. The third one is the audio part, which is connected by the Bluetooth. So don't worry about the cable. You can bring your audio part to anywhere and anywhere. The last one is the Asus Pen with the thousand pressure level. Okay, so it has more sensitive accuracy and more uh, responsive. So with this pen, you could draw in and write in anything you want. Actually, we have an artist in our demo zone later. He will show you how they use the Asus Pen and Transformers 3 Pro to draw in some beautiful pictures. Actually, for this four accessories, we all have the demo sample in the demo zone. Uh, I hope you could enjoy our coming demo show and could join us the journey of In Search of Incredible. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna give you some information. First of all, I'd like to thank for all of you watching the live streaming. We're gonna move now to a new live streaming. Uh, so we, the Q and A, actually, we cannot make it because we are too late for the Q and A. We have a lot of problems, you know. Also, you guys, some guys in other events. But I would like to tell everyone that to go for this website, thezenvolution.asus.com. <coughs> The main event's there, and the live stream is there, and now we are doing the first live stream in the day 360. Today we're going to do the first 360 live stream in the day. Okay? That's something really, really nice. If you access this page, you have both, you can choose. Okay? So, the, at this point, I'd like to say goodbye to everyone watching us on the live streaming, and hope to see you soon. Okay. So, from this point on, uh, you will find all info of press releases and various solution features in a card. Did you receive a card already? No? What are the cards? You have the cards over there, right? You have to distribute. We're going to give to all of you one card, a business card. There is a QR code on that. So VR, everything will be there. Okay? Maybe when you access right away, uh, with touch access, you may have nothing because we're going to open the Google Drive folder. So you keep trying, then we will be open in the next couple minutes should be open and then you can access everything, okay? So everything's gonna be there, very easy, very fast. You can download it even from your phone and use it right away if you need, right? Uh, one more thing. Uh, for all of you attending the technical center, uh, we're gonna give to you a Zenfone 3. For you, you don't need to bring it back, it's yours. Just have it, okay? I think this is cool, right? Who like it? Everyone, right? Come on. And uh, how to get this Zenfone 3? After the event, we're going to be in this room or the room next to here. You come back, and we're going to give to you. Also, we're going to have some products there. So we can have better pictures, better lighting, and look to the products better than the demo area. Demo area is nice, it's cool, there's a lot of stuff. But also, we're going to have some here to help you, OK? Because we know we are making content, you should have this special people. Right? Okay, so now, everybody from this room, stairs up, get inside the menu. 
Okay? Thank you very much.